Greetings. Agave, the African Global Academy of Virtualized Education. It is to really rebuild uh, the Library of Alexandria in a virtual capacity, utilizing the tools that we've got available today. My belief is that we can do uh, podcasts, we can, um, we can have guest speakers, we can have engineers and mathematicians and, and really the best in all disciplines that are available to us today. And we can pool their lesson plans and we can put them into a global catalog which will allow us to offer a full K through 12 education uh, to African parents of the diaspora that are seeking alternatives to that public education uh, and the things that are done in the public education arena. So Agave seeks to, to really corral all of these energies that are being spent in silos and instead of each year reinventing the wheel and parents um, having to, to weather the waters of homeschooling and, and make a bunch of leaps of faith and like that, instead of doing that, we can corral, we can save, we can store all of those lesson plans and we can have them available in, a per, in a perpetuity, right? They're going to always be available. Um, it actually just makes sense to me that we begin to move in this direction. I see Brother Umar has got an amazing initiative as it relates to an educative, uh, educational institution. Um, again, my problem with that is that in 50 years' time, um, the traditional facilities for which education is going to occur are going to be no more. Currently, we've got that schoolhouse that looks like a prison house, right? And the institutionalization process is beginning as soon as the children are turned over to them. So, my thinking is that while I appreciate the university, and it's definitely the direction that we need to go, it does not need to be a physical campus. I understand the, the logic in, in having students on site where we can, they can see, they can feel, they can smell, they, um, they can gain excitement, um, discipline, um, all of these different things that are utilizing a traditional school model. However, if we look, currently Princeton, Yale, um, Harvard, um, any of your institutions of higher learning, they all have a virtual component today. Okay. With the school shootings, right? Little Bobby's coming in shooting people up. Uh, with the social diagnoses that are occurring in the school. There's no, uh, you know, I'm preaching to the choir. There's no reason. Uh, none of us believe that this is a viable solution to our children's being educated. None of us. So, with that in mind, this is the logical step. And Furthermore, it is logical that we are no longer living and working in silos. We should, um, we should be capturing this information so that it is portable in a go-forward capacity. Okay. My uh, initiative, Agave, seeks to do just that. It seeks to rebuild that library of Alexandria. Okay. It seeks to create a continuity where one does not exist today. For people who have had theirs wrenched away from them, it will build that continuity. I envision podcasts very much like this one in which we have got elders, those who have been on the front lines. They have seen, lived through, mustered up the fortitude necessary to be able to survive so many different things. Well, we still have those people here, and today they're not being used, and the knowledge that they have cannot be replaced. They're writing this out of history books as we speak. As we speak, they're writing out of the history books the episodes of slavery, right? They're writing these things out, and so now 
it becomes vastly important that we develop a solution whereby we can capture this information, but not only capture it, but have it available infinitely. Okay? It is not enough for us to be looking at the rubble of the destruction of the Library of Congress and stand around and point at the bricks that are sitting on the ground and not do anything to rebuild it. It's foolish to me. So, the Agave Initiative seek to do just exactly that. We are going to pick those bricks up, we are going to use mortar, and we are going to rebuild the library of Alexandria. This is the intent. This is the focus. I will not stop until said mission is completed. Thank you for your time.